What's up guys, Chad Dorky and 40 RC channel here. So I've received a lot of messages this week and just like four or five today about what R1 DC1 drag car should we get? People are really, really like the Christmas bonuses must be rolling in. Now, if we look at the R1 DC1 on R1's websites, it's available in a few different variants, but stand-up transmission, V1, V2 shocks. A lot of people get hung up on the V1 and the V2 shock thing. Now, I think the V1 shocks is what I run, and they probably are a better shock, at least from what I hear. I don't know. I haven't tested the v2 shocks but i think there's just so many other things to look at at the car right off the bat that getting you that car in your hand for 590 dollars is like the key and the clutch the first thing that you should be worried about with the car is trying to figure out how you can maneuver things into your budget like the transmission and maybe some of the actual tuned parts or some replacement parts should be very easy because a lot of the R1 stuff, as we've talked about before, is super duper cheap. So definitely don't get hung up on that and leave yourself out the dry or decide to maybe go with something else if you're looking to get into NPRC and have the king of cars basically right now. So hope you guys are having a good day and had a good Thanksgiving. Peace.